What is going on everybody? Tonight is my official first light of my new triplet uh, refractor, the Explorer Scientific ED 80mm and this is the FCD-100 version which is supposed to be their newest uh, glass that they use. So far I set up everything and I still have a few small things I need to set up as far as to make everything a neater looking setup. Um, I got a different dovetail coming in because right now I got everything rigged up with the dovetail with like a little weight on the end so everything's balanced. But everything's working. I had to try it tonight and of course the moon is very bright. I think it's like 60% illuminated. So I'm trying a galaxy anyway. I just couldn't, couldn't wait. I had to try and see how everything works. Focus worked perfect with my batten off mass and autofocus worked excellent on the first go. And guiding looks pretty good for right now. Uh, point well, 1.07. I'm running dither like every three frames. So, of course, that makes your numbers go a little bit higher. But uh, I'm trying the pinwheel galaxy. And that's probably a dim galaxy to try with the moon very bright. But as you I'm not sure if you can see it on here, but uh, it's on my red filter right now. And you can almost see the galaxy here with no stretch. But if I stretch it, let's see. So a medium. You can see the galaxy right here in the middle. And let me zoom in a little bit. And you can see my stars are round. I mean, it looks good. Let me check the edges. I haven't checked the edges yet. Get a little bit of curvature right at the edge, but not far. I'm not using any focal reducer or field flattener or anything. It's just wide open. And it looks pretty good to me. Let me look a little further down to the bottom. You know, I saw like another galaxy. Yeah, here's another. Looks like, I guess that's a galaxy right here too. Either way, it looks, looks real good to be this kind of glass and I'm just doing broadband can't wait to try it on narrowband and see how all that stuff looks so it looks pretty good though and as far as what I'm doing it says it'll be clear all night the winds about 10 miles per hour gusting a little bit but I'm I'm still going for it I'm doing about six almost seven hours five and a half six yeah almost seven hours total I start off was only gonna do like three hours but then I saw the forecast gonna be clear all night I said let me just let it go so I'm doing uh, 60 frames. I might add more to the luminance, but 60, 30 second frames of luminance and red, green, and blue filters. I'm doing two minutes at uh, 60 frames each for two minutes. And that should be around five and more when everything finishes. I got a Meridian flip at 140. Cross your fingers that it works good. But on my first plate solve, everything worked perfect. My first plate solve. So I'm going to see how all this stuff holds together, how it works out. Let me check guiding one more time. It looks a little bit, yeah, still right at 1.0. Small this ran. Even on my guide scope, I've tried to um, zero all that stuff in. And you can see the galaxy a little bit right here. Can I brighten it? Let me look if I can brighten it up a little bit. Not almost too bright, but. Yeah, you can pretty much see the galaxy right here in the center. And it's guiding on this star right here. Yeah, I still have to do my calibration frame, so tomorrow I'll do all that when I get home from work. And hopefully I can get some good images out this new scope with all this latest glass that everybody's talking about. So that's basically all I got for now, and hopefully everything works good.